Hello traders, today we are gonna look at some interesting FTOM accounts, so let's look at them. So once again, hello traders, I am Simon from FTMO and if you are new here, what we are doing is that we are funding traders that are able to pass our evaluation process. And what we are doing today is that we are looking at traders that have been able to pass the verification, the challenge and are now trading on their FTMO accounts. So now these traders are eligible for commissions from their trading. So this will be probably very interesting. So this first one is for $200,000 already. And that basically means that this trader at the very least was able to pass the evaluation process two times. And when you do that, you can basically merge your accounts into one. So I assume that is what, what is going on here. So of course, we don't really know how long uh, has this trader been trading. Uh, anyway, the balance curve looks really good. Uh, there are some spikes and dips, but nothing too huge, nothing too significant. This trader has been trading already for 20 trading days. Uh, actually was quite close to breaching max daily loss. Uh, not really max loss, but well, it's quite fortunate that this trader still had like $600 left not to breach it. So perhaps uh, this trader is utilizing uh, those stop losses. And of course, the most important part is the profit. Uh, so that is almost $32,000 and that's just great. Uh, I mean, you can just multiply this by 0 0.7 and that's uh, what the this trader is eligible for in commissions. Now, when you look at the statistics, this trader executed 92 trades uh, using huge volume. Uh, that's 1600 lots. So that's quite a lot. Uh, we will see uh, what instrument is he trading. The average risk to ratio is 1.3. Uh, the win rate is 52%. So of course, together that must be profitable. Uh, the daily summary looks all right. The profits and losses are split across all days quite nicely. So that's quite consistent trading. And as far as I can see, this trader is uh, opening huge, huge volume uh, per position on Forex. Uh, but well, it works, so why not? What is quite interesting is that uh, this trader is using take profits, uh, not stop losses somehow. Uh, but still, uh, the max daily loss was not breached. So whatever, most profits were made on buying. Uh, actually, uh, there is net loss on selling and definitely the most profitable instrument is USD and Canadian dollar. Uh, there is some other stuff, bunch of uh, Forex pairs, uh, but we are not gonna talk about those. I mean, clearly he or she uh, could perhaps avoid these ones or, or these ones and trade more of uh, these ones, especially these three. Okay, so starting off really hot, uh, let's look at another one. This one is for $100,000. The balance curve doesn't look as good as the previous one, uh, but it's still nice. The profits are there, clearly. Uh, unfortunately, there is this, uh, these two quite huge dips, uh, which I don't really like. But fortunately, this trader was able to get out of that uh, successfully, and currently he is or she is sitting at this point. Currently, this trader has been trading for 22 days. Uh, max daily loss once again was uh, quite close to being breached, uh, but perhaps this trader was disciplined enough to not breach it. And the profit is very nice, uh, 12, almost $13 thousand dollars once again if you want to know the profits just multiply this number by 0 0.7 this trader executed 110 trades using 471 lots so that's way more comfortable for me than the previous one uh, but you know as long as it works the average risk to ratio is even better than the previous one it's almost 1.7 and the win rate is slightly worse it's under 50%, so uh, that could be perhaps a little bit better, but with this quite high uh, average risk curve ratio, it's still all good. Once again, we see quite consistent trading. Uh, the volume, the profits and losses are split very nicely across all days, uh, most of the time, as far as I can see. On the last page of the trading journal, uh, we can see an interesting pattern, and that is that this trader is only selling, and is only selling uh, gold and uh, two indices. And this time, this trader is using only stop losses and no take profit. So that's quite interesting. Most of the profits are made on selling, a little bit on buying, so there is no issue here. And down here, we can see that this trader is trading just four instruments uh, and actually just th these two 
indices are profitable and perhaps this trader could avoid trading gold and could be even more profitable okay so this is still very nice i really like that this trader is using stop losses all the time or as far as i can see on the last page of the trading journal uh and yeah everything seems all right now this one is not as nice as the previous two but perhaps is a little more interesting this trader has been trading just for a while uh, started on 2nd of february and the balance curve doesn't look very good so basically there is this huge dip uh, and uh, i guess that at this point it could be really stressful but luckily for this trader from trade number uh, 80 uh, it got way better and uh, he or she was able to get out of that and now is at very nice profit of uh, $5,300. So yeah, that's the current profit. Of course, once again, you can multiply it by 0 0.7 to uh, get the commission. Uh, this trader has been trading for 14 days already, uh, was quite close to breaching the max daily loss and even the max loss, uh, but not really that close with max loss. Uh, but really close with the daily one and if i had to speculate about this account i would say that this trader perhaps was over trading a little bit because i mean 177 trades in just 14 days that's quite a lot uh, the volume is almost 450 lots the average risk reward ratio is actually very good it's 2.15 and the win rate is not that great it's 30, almost 35 percent even so as far as i can see the volume the profits and the losses are split uh very evenly across all days uh maybe with an exception of uh, the first two days because there is really huge volume uh, over 50 lots so when you think about it a fourth of the whole volume of this account uh, was traded just in the first two days so maybe slow down a little bit i will repeat myself over and over again if it works it works and that's just fine uh, but at the same time uh, perhaps this could be avoided if this trader didn't trade so much didn't open as many positions this trader likes to trade just forex and a little bit of gold i guess uh, doesn't use uh, take profit as much just here for example uh, sometimes is using stop losses sometimes uh, not actually volume per position is not really that high as was the case with the previous traders uh, especially the first one so that's okay but still it's quite many positions most of the profits are made on buying a little bit on selling uh, and the most profitable instruments are actually precious metals so perhaps if this trader can specialize just in the precious metals uh, it can be better for him or her because it will not be as stressful actually there is some success with some forex pairs uh, but uh, for the most part not really this is it for this one uh, this was perhaps more interesting than the previous two but at the same time uh, this could have been really stressful uh, but what i really like is the high average risk reward ratio this account is for one hundred thousand dollars uh, this is actually even more interesting but also more stressful because there are uh, two or even three if you consider this a dip there are three huge dips but at the same time this trader wasn't in a huge loss as was the case uh, right here anyway this trader didn't execute as many trades as the previous one in this case it's just uh, 51 trades so that's not really extreme so i don't think that this is a case of over trading but you know still in profit as was the previous one so there is no problem this trader has been trading for 15 trading days uh, max daily loss wasn't really close to being breached neither was max loss and the profit is almost two thousand dollars now keep in mind that this trader still has some days left to make more profits uh, until the profit split uh, but even so this trader will get back his or her uh, initial fee plus 70 percent of this amount as i have already said 51 positions uh, using 300 lots the average risk reward ratio is 0 0.5 so not really that great uh, and the, the win rate is 70 percent so if this was my account i would perhaps focus on getting better average risk reward ratio uh, even if it costs a little bit of the win rate but you know you can always take these numbers enter them into the equity simulator and see if it's profitable or not anyway the volume is 
pretty well split across all days so once again very consistent so as you can see all of the ftmo traders are very consistent it's not like they are uh, trading with huge volume just in one day and that's it we are definitely looking at forex day trader and uh, we can see that he or she is using stop losses all the time otherwise nothing really that interesting right here uh, all of the profits or rather there is net profit on buying and net loss on selling and the most profitable instruments are uh, us dollar and japanese yen gold euro new zealand dollar uh, british pound and us dollar quite nice profits on trading these uh, four symbols uh, if this trader keeps on trading these four and avoids trading the rest uh, it could be perhaps a little bit better all right so this is the last one that we are going to look at this is for 10,000 euros and this time the balance curve looks way more nice there is this unfortunate dip but when you really look at it uh, it's just from uh, 900 euros to uh, about uh, 550 euros so that's not really a big deal this trader has been trading for 10 trading days so far uh, not really coming any close to breaching max daily loss or the max loss and the profit currently sits at uh, 1640 euros and when you consider that this is just 10,000 euro account uh, this profit is actually really good in this case uh, the trader executed 70 trades and used only 22 lots so that's not really a huge volume for the amount of trades uh, but in my opinion i would be way more comfortable trading like this than opening uh, i guess 30 lots per position but of course it's your trading your style do whatever works the average risk reward ratio is 0.52 so not really that great on the other hand uh, the win rate is almost 85 percent so when opening a position this trader is most of the time right but it's not letting those profits run so that's quite unfortunate but at the same time uh, it's very nice win rate so if he or she did let those profits run a little bit more uh, it could be even better but it still works so why not once again when you look at the daily summary it's very consistent all the volume and the amount of trades is split very nicely across all days even the results so nothing wrong here and as far as i can see this trader is trading just gold and what is quite nice is that this trader is just setting those stop losses and take profits and i assume that he or she is just letting those uh, trades go so that's very interesting i really like this approach uh, well in this case there is no stop loss but whatever clearly this trader focuses on getting small profits but many of them uh, instead of getting those huge victories on this account buying and selling are both profitable uh, but buying more so and uh, clearly the most profitable instrument is definitely gold now he or she is trading a little bit of forex but not as much so the specialization is on gold and when you look at this chart right here it's quite interesting to see that when he or she is opening uh, higher volume it's actually more profitable for him or her so maybe open higher volume perhaps but of course if the trader is not comfortable opening higher volume uh, he or she can stick to this it's not a big issue uh, as long as it works and with that this is it for this video of course let us know down in the comment section what do you think and what would you like to see next definitely subscribe to our ftmo youtube channel follow ftmo on all social media and as always, trade safe.